sectors and could continue as uncertainty about the Delta virus uh, rises. Now, to discuss what uh, this means for markets and semiconductors, I'd like to welcome in Melissa Armo. She's founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh LLC. Melissa, welcome to your uh, market overtime to help us close out the week and uh, the week that was. But uh, why don't we start off with what areas of the market are but being hit by this chip shortage that we've just been hearing more and more uh, in the financial headlines? Well, it's really depending on your pick. Some of the stocks in this sector have been doing very well. For example, NVIDIA today had a gap up and made brand new all-time highs. That stock, since it split, has been kind of basing out. It finally is getting a lift again. So that's something that looks like a good long. But then there's other stocks, something like Mew. That doesn't look very good. That looks lower. TSM looks lower, too. So it really depends on the individual company, which one you pick. I wouldn't necessarily just across the board be going long all of these things and holding them. Some of these may drop off and sell off before they lift again. Got it. All right. So within this space, the semiconductor space, what's your, your general outlook you know, going here into the second half of 2021? I think it's going to be difficult, mainly because of what you were stating earlier, reference to the Delta variant and COVID. And really, just what's happening right now is ports, it, uh, supplies are coming into ports. And this is across the board, not just in this, this is everything that's happening right now. And then we don't have enough ships. We don't have enough dock workers. We don't have enough tr drivers. There's not enough truck drivers. There is actually a shortage in supply chain across the United States. And this is one of the reasons we've been seeing inflation in certain products and services as well is because we don't have enough drivers. Some of the drivers are, are on unemployment, okay, because they make more on unemployment because the extra stimulus. Some of the drivers are failing the drug test right now. In order to get a CDL license, you have to pass a drug test. I, don't know, I think they do it like every six to eight weeks. And because marijuana now is legal in many states, some of these, but you can't drive. If you don't pass the test, they're not passing the test. Then they got to be off until they pass the test again. There are so many issues right now with truck drivers. It's one of the reasons you're seeing a higher cost. This continued inflation, you're going to continue to see this. The shortage is due to the, uh, to the lack of people that are working in many of these different industries, whether it's the ports, whether it's the drivers, and it's a problem. And until we get back to normal, which means not necessarily full employment, but a lot, a lot lower numbers in unemployment than we've been seeing, um, I don't think we're going to see really uh, better prices and things. Well, you're absolutely right about this chip shortage becoming a bigger and bigger issue. Uh, we were just talking earlier today about, um, I think, was it Ford had something like 60,000 trucks ready to go outside the manufacturing plant, but they can't move them without the right. chips, the semi chips. So um, this is really starting to have uh, some trickle down effect throughout the entire economy. Um, can I just ask you, what, are there any companies that have been able to successfully nav navigate this, this uh, you know, lack of, of chip supply? Well, I, I, nothing really comes to mind. And again, I look at the technicals. I'm really not following the fundamentals of what these companies are doing per se. And we're at the end of earnings season. The next earnings season doesn't start until the fall. So I would really be very careful of any new positions you take between now and then for two reasons. One, we still have the Delta variant. And two, we have this conflict going on right now overseas. It, I, I heard you talking about the previous guest about the market rallying today and trying to recover from yesterday. But the fact is the market gapped down yesterday and rallied. That isn't really necessarily a great setup. We were also down this morning in the pre-market before we recovered. That's not exactly what you want to see for a long position. I know we're not we're, we're close to the highs, but the fact is what's happening right now overseas could could collapse this market. And so whether you look at a company, whether you think it's strong, whether you think it's good, whether you think everything looks fabulous, even if it's not in earnings season right now, I will be extremely careful about taking new positions long going into this conflict that we're having right now in the Middle East. This could collapse the market. I really was thinking the possibility of another shutdown could happen. And Nicole and I were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. I said 50-50, mm -hmm. because if the cases keep rising, that the administration may be concerned and do another partial or temporary shutdown. Now we have the Middle East conflict. Anything could happen with this. There's thousands of people that are Americans that are stuck over there. If we had some type of war conflict, this market is not going to hang on. We've had a beautiful run up. 
you know, you can look at the fundamentals of these companies, study them if that's what you do. I look at the technicals, like I said, NVIDIA is my top pick to go long. But even still, it was a good long today for a day trade. It was a good long today if you did a call on it. But to hold something long right now overnight is like the tip. It's almost like we feel like we're teetering, teetering, even though we rallied in the market, even though we rallied in some of these things. When you look at the banks, the banks don't look good. When you look at Amazon, it's hanging on by a cliff since the earnings. Some of these things that majorly, majorly move the market are not really at the highs. They're not really acting like they should. And part of this, again, is the fear factor of what's happening right now with some of these conflicts overseas. Okay, well, some interesting things for our long-term investors to keep in mind and watch as things play out here uh, over the next couple of weeks. Thanks again. That was Melissa Armo, founder, owner, the Stock Swoosh LLC.